science experience. You know, we all have had, and even a population of non psychedelic have had uh, prophetic dreams, information, unlikely strings of coincidences, uh, all of these sort of things. These are experiences which cultures deny, cultures put in place, uh, I'm sure you've heard this word, a paradigm. And then what fits within the cultural paradigm is uh, accentuated, uh, stressed, and what doesn't fit inside the cultural paradigm is denied, marginalized, argued against. And we live at the end of a thousand-year binge uh, on the philosophical position known as materialism in its many guises. And the basic message of materialism is that the world is what it appears to be, a thing of, composed of matter and uh, pretty much confined to its surface. The world is what it appears to be. Now, this on the face of it is a tremendously naive position because what it says is the animal body that you inhabit, the eyes you look through, the fingers you feel through, are somehow the ultimate instruments of metaphysical conjecture, which is a highly improbable. Uh, it seems to me metaphysical conjecture begins with uh, the logic of the situation and it proceeds in whatever direction that logic is carried. Well, if logic is true, then uh, we have to make meaning for invisible connections between people Approximately 500 years, the great era of the triumph of modern science, materialism has had its own had the field all to itself. And its argument for its preeminence was the beautiful poise that it could create. Aircraft, railroads, global economies, television, spacecraft. But that is that is a fool's argument for truth. Uh, I mean, that's after all how a medicine show operates. You know, the juggler is so good, the medicine must be even better. Uh, this is not an entirely rational way to proceed. And now, at the end of 500 years of the practice of rational, quote unquote, scientific culture, we're literally at the end of our road. Uh, reason and uh, science and uh, the practice of unbridled capitalism have not delivered us into an angelic realm. Quite the contrary, they've delivered 3% of us into an angelic realm, completely overshadowed by guilt about what happened to the other 97% who are eating it. Uh, it's not a pretty picture of modern civilization. Most people in the world today are quite uh, They have very little hope. Their religions, their traditional values systems are being eroded by uh, Dallas and Hawaii Five-O, which are on the village television every night. Uh, uh, lifespans are being shortened by pesticides, chemicals, all kinds of things in the environment. And, uh, and there is very little political uh, life on the horizon. So I believe that it's reasonable, looking at this situation, to say that history failed and that the grand dream of Western civilization has in fact failed. And now we are attempting 
with basically a carved wooden oar to turn a battleship around. And it's a very frustrating undertaking. Uh, the momentum for catastrophe is enormous in this situation. Uh, now, what? This, but it's not a hundred percent certain that catastrophe is what we're headed for, because we are not a hundred percent unconscious. 